Hello everyone and welcome back to the Belgian Beer Brothers channel, Cedric here in Antwerp, but today with a cup of tea instead of a beer to review. Uh, I would like to quickly go over the Tour de Geus haul of this 2024 edition and as many of you guys know, the Tour de Geus is a biannual event organized by Horal, the High Council of Lambic Brewers and Blenders of Hoge Raad van Ambachtelijke Lambic Brouwers during which all the Horel members and some others as well open their doors to the grand public to come and visit the brewery, taste the beers and buy some exclusives. Now, unfortunately, I didn't find the time to make videos during the Tour de Geurs, but the organization did have a film crew and I'll be visiting separately when things are a lot, a lot calmer. Now, the Antwerp Beer College, a club that I happen to be a board member of, uh, organizes several bus trips on Saturday and Sunday of Tour de Geurs, and each of those buses visits four breweries. This year I joined two of them, visiting seven breweries in total, because one overlapped. And of course, uh, I got a bunch of beers, and we're gonna talk about those later on. Now, on Saturday we visited Kestemont, Lindemans, Lambicfabriek and ended at Oud Beersel. And on Sunday we started at Hanses Artisanaal, went on to Den Herberg, then visited Bonn and again ended up in Oud Beersel. I will not be talking about Bonn and Oud Beersel simply because I didn't buy anything there because I still have a lot of stock. But let's have a look at the rest of our visits. Now, let's go chronologically and start with the first stop, Kestemont, on Saturday. It was Kestemont's very first time participating in the Tour de Geus, and that soon became quite clear, unfortunately. They weren't prepared for so many visitors, with only one cash register for tokens and no price list visible from the waiting line. Uh, only one person at the improvised shop, but that also had to do other tasks and only one bar that was only accessible through a standard doorway leading up to huge, huge lines. Um, of course, those were the, the only remarks that we had, uh, nothing that they can't or won't fix in the next two years leading up to the 2026 edition, but I do want to mention this. Um, apart from all that, we were welcomed here with open arms by the people of Kestemont uh, themselves and by a, a very cool swing band as well. Uh, we were immediately invited for a short tour through the main building and the guide recommended to walk uh, through the other buildings as well if we had the time or the chance. So of course we did and we discovered an absolutely lovely place with a lot of history uh, from before the Kestemont takeover as well. Of course, we tasted some beers as well, but our time was limited, so we only had a few and those huge waiting lines really didn't help. Now, luckily we were with a group, so we were able to share and in doing so taste more beers. And also we could share large bottles, which is cheaper and more exclusive quite often. I'm not going into detail because I'll feature each and every one of these beers on the channel. But in short, at Kestemont we started out with a classic, the Schaarbeekse Krieg, which wasn't bad, but actually not great either. To put that in contrast, we followed up with the regular Oude Krieg and we all perceived that as much, much more aromatic and in general tastier and more enjoyable. Then we switched to the pride and joy of the Tour de Geus, a beer that's not often sold, the Lambic itself. Young, old, you name it. Uh, here I had a four-year-old, uh, a one-year-old and I believe a two-year-old. Uh, both fine beers, um, absolutely. I also tasted the Bergamot Lambic and that's about it. As far as the hall goes, I was a bit disappointed that half of their beers were out of stock, especially since we were the very, very first group there. Uh, but I managed to secure seven beers, but another seven beers, of which I wanted at least four or five, uh, were unavailable, alas. 
The ones I did get were the Schaarbeekse Oude Kriek, the regular Oude Kriek, the Oude Geurs, and some fruity variants with apricot, blood orange, framboise or raspberry, and the bergamot. And as usual, of course, the glass, because we're Belgians and we are sensitive to silly details like that. As usual, uh, if you want to know more about the brewery, I put a link down below. If you want to know more about the Antwerp Beer College, maybe become a member, enjoy uh, discounts on our, uh, on our activities and take part in the Tour de Gers yourself in two years, uh, by all means do so. Again, link down below. And if you want to know more about the Horal, same goes for that. Okay, I'll see you guys again tomorrow with the second uh, short Tour de Gers haul video. See you then.